you understand every points and terms which are going to be explained in this video. If you do not understand, you can ask it in the comment box below. Hello guys, this is the continuation of the previous video of lesson number 3, Diversity in Living Things and the Classification. We will take a small recap of what we have discussed in the previous video. We have discussed definition of what is diversity. What is diversity? Diversity means the differences in living things. Then we have first started with diversity in plants. We have just seen the definition of diversity in plants. And what are we going to study in this video? Now we will study the diversity among plants. In the previous video, we have just saw the definition of diversity in plants. But now we will study each of the diversity in plants. We will go one by one. The first, autotrophic plants. What are autotrophic plants? Plants that make their own food in sunlight. Such plants are called autotrophic plants. That is, all the plants that perform photosynthesis in the sunlight with the other elements also are called autotrophic plants. These are almost the normal types of plants. For example, the hibiscus plant, the periwinkle plant, the promoganate plant and many more plants. These are all the examples of autotrophic plants because they perform photosynthesis in the sunlight. Now we will see the second type of plant that is the heterotrophic plants. What is heterotrophic plant? We will see a small definition of heterotrophic plants. The plants that use other plants for food, those plants are called heterotrophic plants. This tells us that these plants also eat other plants for food. How animals hunt for other animals for food? In the same way, these plants take or eat other plants for their own food. And these plants are called heterotrophic plants. But how can they do this? They do not have mouth, right? What they do? Because of their sucking roots. Their sucking roots absorb the nutrients and all the necessary things that they need from the other plant. So that is why it is said that these plants eat other plants for their own food. And now we will see some of the examples of these heterotrophic plants. The first is fungus. Fungus is also one of the heterotrophic plant. Then the second is loranthus. The third is dodder. These all use other plants for their food. That is why they are called heterotrophic plants. Now we will see the third type of plant that is the insectivorous plant. What is insectivorous plant? The plants that consume insects are called insectivorous plants. Now these plants also consume insects. But how can they consume insects? I can understand that they consume or they use other plants. I will explain you it in detail. These plants grow in the soil which is deficient in nutrients. But the plants need three types of things to grow. First is nutrients, second is potassium and the last is phosphorus. If nutrients is not there then how can these plants grow? So that is why they consume other insects to get nutrients in them. And that is why as they consume insects, these are called insectivorous plants. But how do they consume insects? They attract the insects with their beautiful colors. And as the insects get attracted, they come close to these plants. And as they come close, these plants capture the insects and hold them captive. Some of the examples of these insectivorous plants are the first picture we can see the pitcher plant, P-I-T-C-H-E-R, pitcher plant. 
the second is venus flytrap and the last is the sundew plant these three plants are some of the examples of insectivorous plants they give attraction to the insects and therefore the insects get caught in the next video we will learn more about diversity in living things and their classification but yet we have not finished about diversity in plants so don't forget to watch the next video and also don't forget to like and subscribe my video thanks for watching